Yeah, I did. I didn't want to. I didn't want to stay up that late, but I couldn't. Couldn't pull myself away from it. What football game? Yeah. Two great teams. Um, great game. Uh, just, just a tremendous football game. And, uh, you know, happy for Coach Saban, Coach Dayball, um, all the people at Alabama. Great competitive effort from uh, Georgia and Coach Smart, his staff. But, yeah, it's a great, great football game. Leave it to Bill Belichick to right. make it sound boring. The most exciting college football game arguably ever. And this guy makes it, ah, oh, yeah, okay. congratulations. Great game. I he thought. showed more personality than answering that than the other questions, though. Fell James. asleep during the game. Uh, when you look at what these two gentlemen have done in their respective leagues, obviously in the NFL and college, I, look, pick your poison. I don't want to go up against either one of them. But which run this has is actually been more I mean, impressive? I mean, this is easy, man. It's the NFL run with Belichick. With him being able to do what he's been doing currently has been so impressive. And here's why I'm taking Belichick, his resume, over Nick Saban. Because Saban can pick the uh, best players year after year. But Belichick's the GM, so he's picking the players. Yeah, but when you talk about salary caps, uh, when you talk about winning, when you win, you have what? The ability to lose key players, True to go take money elsewhere. So that plays a big part. When you talk about having a recruiting board and knowing that you have at least 22 scholarships, and out of those 22, you're bringing in at least 18 top flight kids, oh year after year after year Good after point. year, you have an easier task in reloading than what Belichick, not to mention how many, and this goes for both coaches, how many assistants have they lost? Oh, tons. Exactly. So you have to look at that from an equal playing field. Agreed. But when you talk about drafting players, you don't always draft quality players of your New England Patriots because you're at the back end of the draft. Both have failed. He failed at Cleveland. Well, he never really got off the ground. No, no, no. He didn't necessarily fail at Cleveland. He, he failed with Miami. Uh, he didn't really fail at Miami either. <laughs> so he didn't stay long so enough to really. Count against the, them? No. What Belichick is doing right now in counting, because uh -huh. guess what? They still have a shot of winning another championship. Yeah, they it's do. far more impressive than what Saban has been able to do. Just from the standpoint, Saban has an easier task in reloading that machine.